is underwater nuclear-powered drones, what are they and which other countries have them? North Korea claimed twice in a row this week that it tested underwater drones capable of carrying a nuclear warhead and unleashing a radioactive tsunami. Pyongyang's purported actions have put the spotlight on how exactly these underwater drones are different from conventional nuclear warhead-carrying projectiles. Underwater drones are unmanned underwater vehicles, UAVs. They can be operated underwater without a human occupant and have been deemed the war machines for future warfare. The first underwater drones surfaced from humanity scientific prowess in the 1950s. In 1957, the first unmanned underwater vehicle was created in the United States to research the Arctic waters. Underwater drones in nuclear warheads, how do they operate? The U.S. Navy first deployed underwater drones from submarines in 2015. The Russian origin Poseidon, is world's most talked about underwater drone and is one of the six Russian strategic weapons announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin in March 2018. In January 2023, it was reported that the first batch of the Poseidon weapons had been manufactured. Typical depth of the drone may be about 50 to 100 meters. 160 to 330 feet, for increased stealth features and low speed stealth mode. Low depth in stealth mode is preferred because sound waves move to the ocean floor and reduce radius of detection. Submarines use the same strategy in silent running mode. Which countries have underwater drones with nuclear warheads? North Korea's recent demonstration of its underwater drones with nuclear warheads is yet to be decisively verified. The United States, and by extension all 31 NATO countries, possess underwater nuclear-powered drones. The Russian Federation, too, possesses underwater drones with nuclear warheads. North Korea's recent demonstrations. The North Korean drone is named Hell, a Korean word meaning tidal waves or tsunamis. The state media reported that the drone was deployed Tuesday off the northeastern coast. It reportedly traveled underwater for nearly 60 hours, and detonated a test warhead at a target standing for an enemy port. North Korean state media added that the attack drone can be deployed at any coast and port or towed by a surface ship for operation.